otters have been here. Hi, it's Nancy today. I'm at the bridge on at Horseshoe Island. Look at this. This is an otter trail. He slid down in there. They went over there. You see what they've done? Those are my tracks over there. A frozen stream, pond. That's an otter trail. How cool. How cool is that? What else have we got for otters? So they came into the water here. I don't see where they came out anywhere. They went into it here, but I guess they had to slide on the ice. Now, should I continue on this way, or should I cross the bridge? Well, I'll have to come back here to cross the bridge later, but for now, let's just check out the whole stream. That is my goal today, is to do videos on the stream. Ooh, I heard something. The water does pool over under my feet here a little bit, not much. Because this is a marsh. But it's never got much water in it. And it's very deep snow, so I'm okay. Look at those cool frost flowers. Look at that one near the edge. Where am I pointing? See, we've got these lines here, and then there's a little frost flower there. The snow today, look at the snow. See how it's fluffy? You can't make snowmen with this kind of snow. This is way too cold. Snowmen, it has to be only near to freezing, not below. Look, my flag is waving on the teepee down there. That sedge meadow teepee. I never walk over here. It's always wet, but now I'm sure it's frozen. Those little line things? Oh, isn't that pretty? Sometimes you'll see a mink running along the edge. Or in this case, an otter. I mean, it, otters are hard to see. Isn't it neat how it freezes in some places and doesn't freeze in others? all according to how fast it's moving. Now we're getting down here near the main dam. In fact, this is the main dam. Once upon a time, this was the dam here. And I would kayak, or, or canoe, back in there and sit beside the lodge. It's a beaver lodge back there. But we're not going there. We're going to do a thing about the stream even though I'm tempted to go to the beaver lodge because I never get out here this far and certainly not on this side. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? It looks like a hat. That's a Nancy Today hat. That's lovely. Look at the balls of the marbles of ice hanging on the pieces of stick. There's a lot of stuff under the water here from the dam. This dam used to be five feet high. And then this was all the Marshwoods Pond. Okay, now I have to get through here somehow. Without falling over, I shall step on this tree. That worked. Now that stick could go through my snowshoes. Uh oh, that one went through. 
it's not good. Okay, and this one I have to go that way. Okay, we can come and look at these marble balls again. Again, again. Okay, sorry about my mitten. Now this is this is the alders by the marshwoods. And I will show you the marshwoods. Oh, the marshwoods are a wonderful place. I haven't been there in years. Look, tracks. Something has been here. Not today, but a while ago. So we will enter into the marshwoods here at the sign. Now this is where I find coyotes and fishers. Fishers are a strange animal. See? And there's the sign I made. This tree fell down. This was a beautiful gateway. Here is the sign that says the marshwoods. A nice sign. The marsh wood stands even after the ice storm broke everything. The marsh wood stood. I did a, I wrote, I sat here one day in a chair and there was a, over here under this, maybe it was, I don't think it was this one, this one has just recently fallen. But over here there was an overturned stump. There, it was that stump that goes this way, not this one, but it was that one. And I sat in my chair, and a mink came out from there. He came out, and he, it was like he stood around and looked at the little puddle in front of his house. It was like, it was like he had waterfront property. It was the coolest thing, and I was writing in my journal. And he came out, and then he came over to my foot, and I had on these green boots. These were kind of farmer boots. And they were lined. It was winter. And he came out. No, it wasn't winter. Anyway, maybe it was. He came out. He came over to my boot and he ran right across it. And then he turned around and he came back to my boot. And he smelled it. And he looked up at me and then he ran back under his hole. Back into his waterfront property cottage. Minks change where they live every few days. They only stay in one place for two or three days. See, there are no tracks going in. So you would think that nobody lives in there, but they just might not have come out since the last snow. So we are now down past the main dam. See that sedge meadow over there, where sedge meadow teepee is. I don't know if you can see the flag flying. If I walk that way, I'm going to be so stuck. But there's nowhere to go. I'd be stuck everywhere in here. That's why I don't come in here. It's a perfect place for getting stuck. Now this is low, and there's probably a bit of an exit stream that goes to the stream. See how low it is? But I would venture to say it is frozen solid because it is so thin and it is only overhang stuff. Just check it out. Not overhang stuff, overflow. Yeah, we're fine. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm out. See, these are not tracks. These are where clumps of snow have fallen off of the trees. There's a beaver lodge, beaver dam in there, or a lodge. They used to live under there, but as you can see, they don't anymore, except notice the Notice the fine, thin frost. It's from the warmth that comes up. You can tell a beaver lodge because it's got that. But in this case, since they haven't made any dams, how am I going to get out of here? I'm not going that way. No, thank you. But I could. That would be a way to get there. I always get tangled up in here. Even in my just wearing boots. Oh, look at this. Look at that frost. 
see how thin the frost is? That's because there's air coming up under there. You know what that means? That means this is not solid. This is water under there somewhere. Or maybe a hole that goes down to the earth. That would be all right. So we're going past. We've lost the stream. It's over there. Oh, gotta go. 